Greetings gardening friends. This time I want to do kind of a special episode. Uh, this one's just going to be dedicated to sun tracking, which is what I've mentioned in previous videos, and it's about time I kind of revisit that subject. Now, the re what I call sun tracking is really just trying to figure out where the sun is going to be during the day so I can kind of plan the garden accordingly. Of course, that's going to change throughout the year. So as the sun will rise in the east and set in the west, it's also going to travel, I forget if it's north to south or south to north, um, and it also it's going to depend on where you are in the world, um, what direction the sun is kind of moving. So let's say if that, that board that's holding up the tree, or really just supporting it, not holding it up, but if that if there was a line right there for the sun, then in theory what I want to do is I want to put the plants that require more sun above that line and the ones that don't require so much below and right now everything is below that line but I think during the year that line is going to shift and come down the hill and so what I do for the sun tracking is I will literally just go stand in a corner and try and get a wide shot of the garden and I will do this at say 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, and basically from as close as I can get to sun up to as close as I can get to sun down to try and figure out uh, where the sun is going to be at different points in the day. Now I'll shoot from here, but since this is a really long garden, I'll also come over here to our about the middle and I can then shoot going that direction straight up and then going that direction and then I can walk to the other end of the garden actually this is just long enough that I almost could do another intermediate and just kind of go left straight right something like that and then eventually work my way over to the to this corner here and get a shot going that way and you can see now at nine o'clock in the morning which it is well it's a little after nine now but you can see a very clear line there and that's just the building behind me actually casting a shadow a very large shadow so only so much sun is making it but you can see the sun is hitting the tree so we've got oranges i'm happy there um but the the idea is just to get those pictures on a somewhat regular interval you can actually see if you look further down also where the 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 shadow ends and the sun comes out hitting the trees off in the distance there and so what i do is i'll try to take pictures like every hour pretty much on the hour you don't have to be 100 percent accurate it's really just a, you're getting a general idea so like when i did the sun tracking the first time this year i got like all the way up through two o'clock in the afternoon and then I missed the three o'clock and I came out at 3.30. Not a big deal. If you go back and you look at, I think it's episode two, um, I talk about the sun tracking and I put my sun tracking pictures in there so you can see the different angles and how the sun moves across from those different angles. You don't have to do an animation like I did. Uh, you can just look at the pictures and kind of get an idea. But what that told me was at this particular point in the year, that sort of line that I mentioned under the tree where that board is see that board there so that's really kind of as far as the Sun comes down the hill so anything below that's not getting direct sunlight but I think during the year it's gonna shift so I'm not too worried about planting plants along here they're just gonna it's gonna take a little bit longer for them to germinate um, without the sun. Well, actually, germination doesn't require the sun. Um, but once they have germinated, they will grow slower until they start getting direct sunlight. Um, trying to move the entire garden up the hill is kind of pointless. So right now, I'm really just in the phase of cleaning everything up and getting myself ready so that I can manage a garden here. So that's it. I just kind of wanted to talk about sun tracking, and I hope that helps. This is the Budget Gardener signing off, saying may your thumb be green.